What's up guys, Sleeps here with another episode of My Journey to an Ultimate Team and we start this episode off signing Felipe Coutinho for a buy now of 22,250 coins and we put him in for that guy that I could never pronounce his name properly, I think I butchered it every single time and I'm just going to butcher it now, Hetmaj, Hetmaj, whatever his name is, uh, Felipe Coutinho goes in for him and he's going to add a bit of pace to our midfield, uh, he has the 4 star skill so he's going to add a bit of flair and it's one of the signings that I was kind of looking forward to when I went into this whole Silver Serie A squad and right here we come across an all MLS slash American team in a 3-4-1-2 and Donovan scores first in the 50th with a little cutback and uh, I realized that this guy was just getting the better of me with a 3 at the back and in a 4-3-1-2 your, your attack is very centralized so I felt that I need to, to spread out my attack a little bit more because the three center backs were just uh, had me frustrated the entire game so I had to try something different I figured some width in the play would maybe give me some goals so I went into a 4-3-3 formation and El Kabir left wing Marilungo striker striker and at right wing we have um Castaños because I like to I know his left foot is fairly good so I knew if he got a chance to cut in maybe he could score a goal so and it proved to immediately pay off as you see right there as soon as I press start to resume the match uh, El Kabir immediately went into a wider position, did a little 1-2, dribbles past one guy, and uh, finishes off nicely. So we equalize straight after the change, and then we get ourselves one more goal here through Marilungo. Uh, that, that change proved to be all the difference, because you're going to see here, I think I score about three goals uh, between the 75th and 80th minute. That was the first one, and then we cut inside here, we pass it, and then we finish again. Marilungo at the near post, finessing it past the keeper. And uh, the, width in, the width in the new formation proved to be something that this guy was really struggling to deal with because I think he was used to me playing like little one-twos and little passes within the midfield. And so once I spread the play out, it really caught this guy off guard and the, the change really, really did work. So we win in 4-1 at this point. Uh, definitely was a good decision to go 4-3-3. And then he gives us away a penalty and uh, this was just not good for him. It was just pretty much completely killed the game off and I decided to put uh, Felipe Coutinho on it just because I wanted him to score in his debut because when you score a debut goal with somebody you just signed it just feels good because you feel like they were worth whatever you paid for them so just just watching them score the very first game lets you know like all right yeah Felipe Coutinho is worth 22,250 coins and even though it was a penalty a goal is a goal and then at the end right here in the 90th minute Castaño scores little step overs and you could tell by the way he was defending right there that he was kind of raging slide tackling like that I guarantee that's something that he would not have done in the first half so Castaño scores there and we win that one 6-1 Marilungo getting man of the match there as our striker and we walk away that game with 927 coins to advance with so we move on to the next match and our next opponent was one of those uh, teams that I guess you guys hate without I play you know low chemistry gold bronze mixes here and there and he had a bronze keeper and whenever you see a bronze keeper your eyes just light up because you know those bronze keepers are gonna save nothing they're not gonna be able to keep control of the ball if they do uh, manage to get there to make a save and so we play this one through El to El Kabir it didn't take us long to score in the second minute El Kabir in on goal and that he's just not going to miss a one-on-one -on -one like that especially against a bronze keeper and we push on to score more and more goals a little one two there and Marilungo gets himself on the score sheet yet again you know Marilungo has been a fairly good center forward he seems to be pretty beastly he scared he scored quite a few up there so you know the center forward was a good signing I think he only cost me like 900 coins or something like that and he scored plenty of goals to justify that price tag Marilungo again uh, right there at the back post to go deal with the low cross and put it in finish that off and then I'm watching the replay just because you know I really don't ever uh, cross the ball with the triple tap square you know a low cross along the ground and so when I do it, it's just different to me so I just like to see it again and I'm watching this replay and then this I don't know what's going on here he fouled me and then I kind of f saw this coming the rage quit as soon as uh, we he was at the kickoff again uh, yeah, that's it. He he was straight into that pause menu and uh, the rage quit is on. So uh, that was a pretty quick game. I think we only played about 20 minutes game time or something like that. And so he rage quit and we move on to the next match, which uh, this match, we came across a very, very good team. You're going to have a look. He has four silver in forms. I believe this is an all, yeah, this is all championship side or all in power league one. I'm not too sure. I think it's a championship side. And uh, he had good teams, uh, good good players, good in forms. Uh, he had Zaha up front, which I know a lot of people use that guy. You know, he's very good. He's quick. He has the four-star skills. Uh, so I was kind of intimidated, I guess, by looking at his team. 
and he scored first so I'm just like oh no here comes the loss but we play this over the top to Castaños and I had to tramp it here because I knew I was against a very tough opponent and I just needed an equalizer and El Kabir uh, provides it for us and you guys would have heard me say I think last episode or maybe the episode before that that El Kabir just seems to score when I really need it and he proves it in this game as he scores the first goal to equalize he scores the second goal to give us the lead and then of course sure enough El Kabir is the one to uh, complete his hat trick we play this through to him he's in plenty of space he's in on goal and he finished this was fish finishes this one comfortably uh, to complete his hat trick in the 75th minute so like I said El Kabir really really does score when I really need it and then after that I uh, don't think I was keeping the ball in my defense or anything right there I was just simply passing it back because he had too much pressure on me and I was just gonna go up the right flank instead and then uh, when he saw me do that he decided to rage quit so two rage quits there in a row and uh, that's gonna be it for this episode I hope you guys are enjoying the series Please leave me a like, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.